be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story check out the links down in the description below hope you enjoy the video this is something that i'm a little bit embarrassed to admit but hear me out so i have i have seen david lynch this this isn't my first time watching david lynch i have seen twin peaks that was years ago and uh fire walk with me that was kind of my david lynch experience and I did have a reason why I didn't check out David Lynch for the longest time, uh, and I'm not going to get into that, but recently, uh, pretty much, I, I'll, I'll kind of get into that a little bit. I was going to check out David Lynch when I was ready to check out David Lynch. I'll just leave it at that. And I have been ready to check out his filmography. Now, I checked out Blue Velvet last night, and this is one, uh, just forgive the score, even though I do, I'm going to give this a really good score, but... Uh, I feel like my opinion could possibly change with another viewing for this film, but I really am excited to talk about this because this film is just so damn good. So this film has Kyle MacLachlan, I think. I think that's how you say his last name. Laura Dern, and of course, of course, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper, I love Dennis Hopper. I loved him in True Romance, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, I love him in this. Dennis Hopper is just a magnificent actor. He knows how to get, like, you give him a character and he squeezes, like, if imagine his character is just a sponge with water. He squeezes all the water out of that sponge. He is just, he definitely takes everything and just, he puts everything on the screen. Everything that he's feeling, Dennis Hopper is just freaking amazing. And Blue Velvet, it's hard to explain exactly what Blue Velvet is, um, kind of without spoiling it. Uh, so I'll pretty much leave it at this. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin's character, uh, his dad is in the hospital. He ends up finding a severed ear. And there's this mystery with this woman that likes to sing Blue Velvet and this sex-crazed lunatic. There you go. And it's so nice to just... David Lynch, and this is what I was telling my wife yesterday, his films kind of, it's almost like his films are putting you in a rush, but you can take your time, you know, like they're like, and what I mean by that is I'm not trying to say that he's trying to rush you because that's not what I'm saying at all. It's more of like, there's a story that you need to find out. Like you're, while you're watching it, you're like, okay, I need to find this out. There is something here that I need to figure out and it's going to make this film a whole lot better for me but you don't feel like you need to get to that part. It does not matter how much, uh, which I've heard the same thing about Inland Empire, where it makes no sense, and he wrote the screenplay, like, I guess, day by day or something, and uh, at the end of it, you kind of figured out, I guess, what was going on. Uh, not really with this film. You do kind of have an idea of what's going on, but I felt no rush to get to the end. That's a good way to put it. I, I didn't feel rushed to get to the end. I just let this film take a hold of me, let it sink in, and just had an amazing time with it. And Kyle MacLachlan is one of my favorite actors to watch. He's just, he's so cool to watch. He looks so different in this film compared to Twin Peaks, and Twin Peaks didn't even come out too much longer after this. That's crazy. And Laura Dern, I mean, she's, I don't think she, she's not really in this film that much. Like, she's probably got maybe, I don't want to put an estimate on screen time, but she's not really as big of a character as you would actually think until sort of the third act. Uh, it's kind of more of Kyle MacLachlan and uh, Dennis Hopper. There's a scene in this film that just blew me away. It's the end dream segment where the dude's singing end dreams or mouthing end dreams. I loved it. I loved this film. Now, I do feel like I need to watch it some more. I'm sort of getting the same feeling with David Lynch that I'm getting with Tarkovsky where I feel like I'm going to have to watch the films multiple get, give them multiple viewings to give like a very solid score but so far for Blue Velvet I'm going to give Blue Velvet an 8 out of a 10 I think it's a great film I just I need to watch it again and kind of understand it because I've had people tell me that this is one of the best films like in American cinema I've had people tell me this film is a masterpiece and guess what I completely agree with you I just feel like I need to sort of watch his films more. It's the same with Tarkovsky. I ended up giving Ivan's Childhood like a six, and I gave Solaris a seven. Uh, I stand by that. Those are films that I do give scores. I mean, I give those scores, and I have no regrets. But I will, and I don't care, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I do need to watch the films uh, probably again to sort of 
get a more clear understanding of the film. Which Blue Velvet is way more straightforward than a Tarkovsky film. But uh, but David Lynch, I'm hooked. I was hooked with Twin Peaks. I've wanted to check out I've wanted to check out The Elephant Man, and I've wanted to check out Eraserhead for the longest time, and I'm going to check those out soon. Super excited for it. Cannot wait to do those reviews for those movies. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.